Hello, Babylon Schools. This is John with Opal. I see my colleague Richard sent you some information on logging in and a password. Let me show you how to create your account for library staff, volunteers, etc. User, add. I'll just put myself in. So for library staff, volunteers, it's not required, but I put my email in, my first and last name, and then you can create a login for yourself. I'm going to use John. Only one login name is allowed, so you couldn't have the same login name. So I'm just using my name, assuming no one would use it. And I'll put in a password, John, and then the same John. All right, the most important thing for rights and ability to use Opals as a library staff member is to go to library staff, okay? So I've got my login is John, John is my password, library staff, save. All right, now let's say, let me test the account. I'm going to log in. I'm clicking log in, top right corner, John, John. There we go, log in. And I know I'm in with full rights uh, because I see all the tabs and the ability to do various operations in Opal. If I wanted to change my password, user, edit, and I'll pull up my account. There it is. And I could go down to password, change password, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then save. There we go. I'm going to delete my account. Let me just show you the group editor. User, group editor. This is where you can see all your students, teachers, library staff, etc. I'm going to click library staff, do a search, and there's my account. I'm going to delete it. An account can be deleted because I don't have anything out. I don't owe any money. You, you can't delete an account, student, or otherwise if they have outstanding items or owe the library any funds. So I'm going to delete my account, and um, I hope this short clip is helpful.